Soldier Performance and Equipment Advanced Research Facility is designed to evaluate soldier performance under various load configurations and also different types of cognitive loading. A lot of the research that we do here is looking at the interaction of physical and cognitive performance. The device that we're evaluating is meant to augment the soldier's ability to carry load. So it's not carrying the load for them, but it's reducing some of the muscle strain and physiologic work that they have to do. The suit is designed to assist in the push-off phase of gait. As your foot, your heel comes off the ground and your toe is pushing off, the muscle in the back of your calf contracts and um, the muscles on the back of your hip also are swinging your leg forward. So what the system does is it pulls at the back of the thigh and the back of the foot at the same time that your muscles are working. And the idea is that it's creating that motion so that your muscles don't have to do the work. It's like a rubber band. It, when uh, you can feel the tension, but when you take a step, it helps pull your leg up and helps relieve tension off the muscle. We have them walking on the treadmill for five minutes, and while they're doing that, they're performing a cognitive task to see if um, when they come back from the prolonged load carriage, it's helped them be less fatigued so they're better able to perform that task. The load carried for this protocol was um, 75 pounds, and that, that was the rucksack, the weapon that they were carrying, and the body armor that they were wearing. The system weighs about 20 pounds on top of that. Face masks that they're wearing, we're using to evaluate the energy expenditure. The system is connected to, uh, records the oxygen and carbon dioxide concentrations of the air they're inhaling and exhaling, and then gives us a calculation of the calories that they're burning. When you don't wear the machine, you feel all the way on your muscle. So there's, there's a little bit of difference there. They were looking for a reduction of 25% in metabolic cost. If we see anything over 5%, we consider that meaningful. That's within the tolerance of our system.